In keeping with the UNMIS mandate of consolidating peace and security and helping to establish conditions for development in South Sudan, Deputy Special Representative to the Secretary General DSRSG, Rezidon Zanega, has embarked on a familiarization tour of the 10 states of South Sudan. He has visited seven so far, with just three remaining. During these visits, he has met with the local UN state coordinators and officers and received updates on what is happening in these states as it relates to the UN mandate and the local conditions. The DSRSG and his team, which included human rights and civil affairs representatives, also met with the governors and government officials to hear and learn of the issues that they may have and how the UN could assist in helping them to resolve them. Three issues were central to all the states. The DSRSG spoke about these. The uh, major preoccupation for each of the state uh, governments is security. Security, security. They are very concerned about security in almost all the states, including those that are more stable, like Eastern Equatoria. They are still concerned about security. The second is capacity to govern, capacity to deliver uh, services to the people and also access to inaccessible and remote areas and the lack of infrastructure. Not only do the residents of these states face these issues, but in each of these states reside UN staff who work in very adverse conditions to help fulfill the UN mandate. The DSRSG, accompanied by a representative from Mission Support, visited with them also and held staff meetings to hear their concerns and address their most pressing issues. Living conditions have been very tough for most of them because the construction of our infrastructure has been slow. Moving materials in a country where there is no road infrastructure and where you have to fly in and where uh, during the rainy season, which lasts for eight months, is very difficult to move, has been a challenge. But now we are making progress and conditions are gradually improving as we bring in more materials and more engineering capacity.